Seek the Lord. An audio from Stand for Christ Ministries. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call on him while he is near. Isaiah 55 6. How many have lived their entire lives pursuing their own dreams, their own ambitions, and their own desires, while giving little or no thought to God's will and purpose for their lives? Only to arrive at the point of death and realize that all they had invested their energy, focus, and time in had been empty. How many were so busy chasing the attractions, distractions and pleasures of this life, with little or no thought of God? Only to be suddenly taken away from this life, without warning. And one day, they suddenly find themselves standing before that same Almighty God, and are overcome with the dreadful realization that they now face an eternity without God. And now, the eternal destiny of their souls is forever fixed, and can never be reversed. They had the opportunity to be made right with God while alive, but rejected it. They had the opportunity to accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior while alive, but turned their backs on Him. Tragically, they treated a matter as serious as eternal destiny of their souls, as a trivial issue. A trivial issue they believed was undeserving of their attention and valuable time. Valuable time, which they were deceived into believing was better invested in far greater matters, than the salvation of their souls. Important matters such as going about the business of this world, while seeking, acquiring and chasing after every good thing this life has to offer. But sadly, in all their pursuit, the question of eternity, and what happens to their souls when they leave this world, was not even a thought. And suddenly, without warning, death snatches them away. The opportunity for salvation is forever gone. The opportunity to be made right with God, through Jesus Christ, is now forever gone. Their soul is now forever lost, forever separated from God, for all eternity. And now their eternal destiny is irreversibly fixed. On an appointed day, they will have to stand before the Creator of the universe, and give an account of their lives. And as they stand before Him, they will be overwhelmed with dread, because they know that even now in eternity, God will simply continue to grant their desire to have nothing to do with Him. A desire they held on to, and lived out while they lived on earth. Except that this time, their separation from God will be eternally fixed. And now, tragically, their soul is forever lost. And in the sobering words of Jesus Christ, for what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world, and loses his own soul? Or what will a man give in exchange for his soul? Mark 8 36-37 Is there possibly anything in this temporal world, that is worth losing one soul over? Is there anything in this life worth chasing after, that is worth one being forever separated from God, for all of eternity? What can a man give in exchange for his soul? Matthew 25 41 clearly expresses the severity of the condition of those who will be tragically condemned to eternity without God. The verse reads, Then he will say to those on his left, Depart from me, you who are cursed, into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. While on earth, they had the opportunity to know God as Savior, through Jesus Christ. To experience God's grace and mercy, and be reconciled back to Him. They had the opportunity to procure the salvation of their souls. A salvation only possible through Jesus Christ. But they rejected that opportunity. Now, in eternity, they stand before a holy and righteous God. They stand before Him, with the tragic realization that their entire human life, had been wasted chasing nothing but vanity. All the things of this life they had invested their energies, minds, and bodies into, were nothing but ashes and dreams. Dreams that pass away. And now they have awoken in eternity, to the terrifying reality of a holy God. They thought they were done with God. But alas, as they now stand before this awesome God, they realize that, He has just only begun with them. Instead of having experienced the mercy of God by coming to Christ, while on earth, they now stand before Him as their righteous judge. With nothing else left to experience, but His wrath. Isaiah 55 6 says, Seek the Lord while He may be found. Call on Him while He is near. While 2 Corinthians 6 2 says, I tell you, now is the time of God's favor, now is the day of salvation. Today is another opportunity that God has given us to be reconciled back to Him, through His Son, Jesus Christ. Let us seek Him, while we still have that opportunity. Let us seek Him, 
while he may still be found. Let us seek God, while he still extends his grace and mercy to us. For if we refuse to accept him as a merciful and gracious Savior in this life, then no other option will be left, but to experience him as a righteous judge, in eternity. The Good News A Gospel Message of Jesus Christ For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. John 3:16. This is the gospel message of Jesus Christ. This is the good news, friend, if you are listening to this and have not yet come to Jesus Christ and accepted him as the Savior of your soul and Lord over your life, I urge you to come to him, today, now, while you have the opportunity. I urge you to turn from your sins and turn to Christ. Christ came into the world to save us from the power of sin, reveal God to us and save our souls, all because of his immeasurable love for us. Without Christ, the very destiny of your soul right this moment hangs in the balance between heaven and hell. An uncomfortable and often unwelcome truth, but a truth nonetheless. A truth being shared with you in love and with urgency because it has eternal and irreversible consequences. The other sobering side of the message is this, whoever believes in him is not condemned, but whoever does not believe stands condemned already because they have not believed in the name of God's one and only Son, John 3 17-18. This moment, a choice lies before you and your decision regarding Jesus Christ will have eternal implications for your soul that cannot be reversed. Telling you tomorrow may be too late may sound like an exaggeration but countless souls thought the same, some ridiculed the message and ignored the opportunity to come to Christ. Many were taken from the world without warning, and now that opportunity is forever lost. Please don't let that be you. Turn to Christ today as your Lord and Savior so that you may be right with God and that your soul be saved. Jesus promises that no one who comes to him will be turned away. Come to Christ today, tomorrow may be too late. If you would like to know more or would like us to pray with you, kindly email us at standforchrist at mail.com